The Columbus Municipal School District's Board of Trustees had a full agenda for their meeting today. One very important item on the agenda was capital improvement plans for the school district. Our Keely Shields sat in on that meeting and found out how one school building is in need of some major work, but the district may have to jump through some hoops to get it all done. Keely joins us in the studio with the latest. Hey, that's right, Winston. Most of you have probably heard the saying to take care of things you want to keep. Well, the Columbus Municipal School District is planning to take measures and make sure its school buildings are up to Falcon standards. There are many factors that go into providing students with the keys to success, and the Columbus Municipal School District believes one of those is the right environment. Across the board and on each campus, our Board of Trustees as well as our maintenance department and superintendent had a chance to do a walkthrough of each campus to find some areas that needed improvement. So uh, there was this list composed in 2019 where we wanted to go through with updating and um, upgrading some of the, the, the issues that we saw around each campus. The district also enlisted the help of the architecture firm Pryor and Morrow to look for the things the district leaders may have missed. The results of that study were presented to the board last week. District Maintenance Manager Stephen Little provided updates on these capital projects. One of the main talkers was Franklin Academy. A year or so back, uh, we did have the roof repaired uh, at Franklin, but that did not cover the whole roof. It was insurance claim, and there are still some areas that uh, need to be replaced. Little told the board about other projects for Franklin that were out of his budget, ranging from new bathrooms and an auditorium refresh to repairing parts of the parking lot. Assistant Superintendent Craig Chapman says some of these repairs require special funding and specifications. We couldn't spend any funds with Franklin uh, with our ESSA projects and of course with Franklin you have to go through the National Archives and History in order to complete some of those projects so right now we're trying to focus on our next move and our next steps in order to completing the projects that we see needing upgrades at Franklin. And while the district has a timeline to tackle projects for each school, Chapman says the goal is to provide a safe and conductive place for learning. We're doing um, everything we can to ensure our campuses are, um, you know, upgraded and we're, um, our maintenance departments as well as the entire team are putting in an effort to take those next steps to make sure our, our campuses are safe and secure for our students. Now Chapman did tell me that at this point the Board of Trustees is discussing funding for these projects at Franklin. 